Is this working? Hope so. Hey guys, I'm home already from Costco. It didn't take long. I got the hell out of there. Anyway, I'm starving. I had a really good workout this morning, and uh, it is almost 2.30. I haven't had lunch yet. So everybody's talking about this TTLA sandwich at Whole Foods. It's tempeh bacon, tomato, uh, what's the L for? I guess lettuce and avocado. Anyway, it was cool. I don't do a lot of soy, only because I don't think it's the best thing for you. So I have created my own, what I call a veggie a vegan sandwich. And uh, I'm gonna share it with you today. Everybody's telling me I gotta share my stuff on Facebook more live. I've never really done a live video. Don't know really how to do a live video, but I'm going to attempt to. So I start with sourdough bread because that's my favorite. You could do it with ciabatta or, or whatever you want, but that happens to be my favorite. And I start with, oh, let's try that. These are Persian cucumbers, but Hot House is just as good. I normally use that when I'm out. So we are going to slice up some Persian cucumbers. And the reason I use Persian or Hot House is because you can just eat the skin. You don't have to peel it and do all that stuff, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll start with that. We will slice some tomato. I need a bigger knife. There we go. All right, a little slice of tomato. All right. Oh, we need a little red onion. That's easy. Whoops, maybe not so easy. I don't know how many of you guys out there like a veggie sandwich, but it's actually really, really, really good. Um, over the past seven months or so, I have uh, gone probably 99% vegan. Um, I have backslid a little bit because... Over the past couple of months, my body has been craving some kind of, uh, I hate to use the word flesh, but for lack of a better term, flesh protein. So a couple times a month, I will eat a piece of uh, wild fish, salmon or tuna. And it has really helped a lot. Um, I was starting to feel like I was on a diet, you know, where you can't eat a certain thing. And so you're trying to eat everything you can to get rid of that craving, but it never goes away. So you end up eating too much food. And so that's what I was doing. So don't want to do that anymore. So if I want a piece of fish, I have a piece of fish. Uh, still pretty healthy all the way around. I haven't gone back to dairy though. That I think was doing more damage than anything because I wasn't eating very much uh, meat to begin with. So we got avocado. Just slice up a little bit of avocado. All right, so we have cucumbers, tomatoes, um, red onion, and uh, avocado. The bread's still toasting. I like my breast, my breast, my um, bread <laughs> toasted <laughs> really well. Um, I'm going to show you what really makes this sandwich. There's a couple things that are pretty amazing. Uh, let's see. So I discovered both of these at Trader Joe's. I am like a spicy food fanatic. Um, these hot and sweet, hot and sweet jalapenos are amazing. And these hot and spicy dill pickle chips are pretty good too. I am a dill pickle lover. I like anything spicy. So uh, that's going to go on the sandwich. And spread wise, here we go. So I'm not a big mayonnaise fan, but I found this vegan mayo. Uh, it is uh, chipotle flavor. I put this on one side. And I know not a lot of people are not mustard fans, but I love mustard. And this is going to go on the other side. So we are going to start to assemble our sandwich since the toast is ready. I don't want to make a half because a half a sandwich is more than enough for me. I need a plate. Hold on. Okay, so let's get a butter knife. There we go. I use my dishwasher a lot different than most people because it's just me. Uh, I'm a new... I guess a new empty nester. I don't uh, have a lot of dishes to wash, so, um, and I needed more counter space. If you look over here, I have 
my dehydrator and my microwave and like I have no counter space left. And to have a dish rack up here would have just been horrible. So what I do is I wash the dishes in the sink and I put them in the dishwasher to dry. So it leaves me more room for counter. So anyway, here we go. So just a little bit of the vegan mayo, chipotle flavored, by the way, on one side. Okay, and let's wipe that off. Don't want to mix them. And the other side is going to be mustard. there there we go okay so I've got that done so when you build a sandwich the things you want to put on top of the spread and the bread are the things that will move around the most avocado will move around a lot in a sandwich if it's not on the bread so let's put the avocado here and those two pieces are good and then the cucumber on the other side because that will definitely move around a lot so we'll put that here there we go pop a little tomato on top, red onion. Okay, and here comes the fun part. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my sweet and spicy jalapenos. I'm telling you guys, this is the best sandwich ever. You know what, actually, we gotta squeeze some of this juice out. I don't want it to be too mushy. Okay. Sounds really crazy, huh? But it's really good. When I was uh, little, uh, we had four generations alive at one time. When I got older and had my kids, we had five generations alive at one time. And I remember as a child, my mother, my grandmother, and my great-grandmother, we'd all be sitting around the table. And um, my mom's side of the family is from the South, or New Orleans. And um, my mother used to grow these little teen peppers they were green and some were red. And my mother, grandmother, and great grandmother used to sit at the dinner table and eat these peppers and literally cry. Cry. And they used to sit there and say, why do you guys eat this stuff if it's that hot? I mean, why do you do this? And my, great, my grandmother used to look at me and say, baby, it's hot, but it's good. And as an adult now, I find myself doing the exact same thing, which is just hilarious. My oldest daughter likes spicy, my youngest daughter not so much. So this is such a, an eclectic mix of flavors. We have the spicy and tart of the dill and we have the sweet and the spicy of the uh, peppers. Okay, we are done. So I'm going to flip this over. It's so bad I can't even get my mouth around this. Let's push this down a little bit. Oops. Mush! Okay. TTLA, you got nothing on this, I'm telling you. Here we go. Just take a look at that. That is so, so good. Think about it. There's nothing, there's nothing in here with calories except for the avocado, which is three slices and a half and a one slice of bread. So it's a really, really good, nutritious mm, lunch. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my God. This is so good. This is amazing. TTLA, you can take a back seat because this is the bomb. Mm. Mm. Okay, so. And that is my lunch for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Try it. You will not regret it. It is really, really good stuff. All right? Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.